I'm a PhD student of the Research Center in Jülich. We are involved in the CrowdDNA project with six other partners. And our role in the project is to carry out large-scale experiments with crowd. Hi, I'm Helena and I'm a PhD student at the Research Center in Jülich and I've got a background in psychology. I'm responsible for the pushing experiments during this week and we are doing two kinds of different experiments. First of all, we push people with the punching bag. There we really want to identify how a push propagates through a crowd and also we want to see how the participants recover balance after they are exerted to a push. The other experiment we are doing is um, in a crowd pushing against each other and um, here the goal is to identify some phenomenon that can occur in a crowd, for example sideways movement or sometimes even people are lifted up or pushed down. The overall goal of these experiments is to identify possible dangerous situations in a crowd. So in this week I'm doing experiments on social interaction in crowds. So um, especially we want to see how people communicate in these crowds. And therefore we have a larger amount of people which are going through a bottleneck and in this flow we interrupt the people. So they are waiting in front of this bottleneck and then one person or some persons receive an information from us and they have to pass it on in this crowd and we want to see how this information is passed on. So if it goes more to the front or more to the back or to the sides. So which are the strategies and the ways people communicate with each other. So the difficulties of the experiments is that on the one hand we really want to uh, find these possible dangerous situations but on the other hand also the participants need to be safe and nothing should happen. So that's a very uh, yeah, complicated situation. For my experiments we needed a, a large group of people and also before the experiment it turned out to, that it's really difficult to recruit as many people as we needed and as soon as the number was big enough people start cancelling so the uh, number of people already they, uh, it decreases and so we had to find more participants on really short notice and this was really difficult. <laughs> All partners are very interested in our experiments and also the data that we collect, but in these experiments especially two partners are um, more involved and that's INRIA from France and the University of Ulm. So with INRIA we do some special experiments, also that one person passes through a crowd and the University of Ulm brings in the expertise with the pushes and the pressure sensors. I think all the partners are kind of interested in the data and in the videos we generate during this week. And especially for my experiments, the partners from the University of Madrid are especially interested in the videos because they need videos of large, dense crowds moving forward to validate the simulations of groups. So the best part of the experiments this week was the participants. They are so motivated and it also seems like they're having lots of fun participating in the experiments. It's a really good thing to see in this experimental week that the ideas you have in your head the whole, in the, during the whole planning process are really working out with the participants because it's always a risk to do experiments with people because they maybe they behave in another way that they should but this is really great if it works. <laughs>